Hello and welcome to what is in the box for this week. And so then we'll just aha, uh -huh. right then. From Moto Direct you do many many things and whoa, an AGV. I wonder where's um where's my little my little helper? What are you doing, Martin? Just, just reading the latest issue of Fast Bikes. Is that the latest issue of Fast Bikes available for another week or so? I think so, yeah. I just thought I'd read it in here because everyone keeps trying to steal the stickers. Okay, that's a good point. Would you give me a hand for a product boxing again? Yeah. Mate, you're a legend. Thank you ever so much. I'll put that back in there. Yeah, for, for later. So no one steals it. I'm amazed you fit in there because you're a bit of a specimen. So, I mean, you know, big, big boy. Hey, really eh? Right. Okay, shall we see what we have? AGV box. So what is it going to be? So what just what else have we got in the bag in the box for a start? Uh, got some nice uh, cushioning. Lovely, which lovely. I could use in the cupboard. Could come in handy later. Uh, racing tear offs? Oh, nice. Things. Racing tear offs. Pinlock? Uh, pinlock. Good, I love pinlocks. pinlocks. Genius idea. They are. And what looks like a bag of tricks. A bag of things. Should we open them? Mm. Not that exciting. Oh, there's earplugs. Earplugs? It even comes with earplugs. Look at that. And little spare things that we don't know what they do. And a, and, and a blue thing. I'm sure. That's for artificial is. insemination. Okay. <laughs> I know all about that. Uh, well, yeah, I guess. <laughs> right then. Okay, so what is it? What do we have? Best you open her up, sunshine. Do you know? I can't quite see it properly, but I'm thinking this is a Rossi lid. It might just work. Nice. Carbon fibre Rossi lid. In fact, this is the GPR. Pistol, the Pista GPR, sorry, and it's obviously a Rossi replica, and it's made from carbon fibre, and it costs the princely sum of £999. Do you think that's a lot for a helmet? It is a lot. How, um, how much of that do you think is the licensing <laughs> <laughs> that Rossi charges, that half president to Danese and AGV Rossi charges back to AGV and Rossi? Because, you know, he needs, he needs a few pennies for his does. pension, isn't he? He ain't got enough. Um, that is very nice though. Yeah, it is. It is. It's a nice uh, aerofoil. And you can see the carbon if we get in kind of close there. We can see the kind of carbon weave as well. Um, right, so I'm going to reel off a few things about this helmet, Martin. You ready to test your knowledge again? Yep. Go for it. Uh, this one's pretty easy because just look at it. It is, in fact, 100% carbon construct. So that's the entire. That's the one. The entire shot. And it has been aerodynamically developed. Yeah. Okay, which we can see from yeah, obviously yeah. the spoiler. Yeah, yep, yeah. The, yeah, and the spoiler at the back. Um, it has an IVS, something called an IVS vent system, which is just our guess. It's probably their patented vent system, is it? Yeah, which you don't know how to open. No. Oh, it's a. Oh, it's one of those because it's a racing helmet, yeah. so you have a choice. Um, so the blanks are there for when you go out, and it might rain or. Ah, I see. Okay. Ah, very nice, very nice. Um, it has, well, apparently it has MotoGP developed metal air vents, which I think means he wore one with some metal air vents <laughs> whilst in MotoGP, which counts as being developed. Um, it does have uh, a rejiggered... A re um, ventilation system, yeah. uh, chin especially, uh, to, to kind of keep the visor as clear as possible uh, within, the actual con within the actual construct itself. Um, it says it has a neck roll. Well, this is I'm guessing roll. that is the neck roll. Yep. And then the next thing on the list is a removable hydration system, which I think we are already looking at. So basically yeah. a tube that goes... Oh, can you see that? There she is. There she is. Very nice. Um, 
and it has a visor lock system, a metal visor mechanism. And metal isn't something that a lot of manufacturers use, but this has got that bit's plastic. That bit's plastic. Okay, well, yeah, but oh, so you ah, you pop the button to release it. Hmm. It's actually yeah. got two stages as well. So that's obviously open. Hmm. That's broken the seal, so right. you'll get a bit of airflow, mm -hmm. and then that's full, fully shut. Sweet. Okie dokie. I mean, that looks... And there, I mean, they say it's a metal visor... Is it visor locking system? Or... No? Okay, visor mechanism. That all looks like plastic to me. Uh, there's a bit of metal in there, is there? Maybe? No? Okay, I mean, it, it is nice. I mean, a thousand pounds is a lot for a helmet. Yeah. Although, that being said, uh, the Arai, don't know if you remember a few years ago, the Arai brought a carbon fibre helmet out, and they still, I think you can still yeah, find yeah, those, yeah. and they're about three grand or something it's insane. Two, two and a half. Oh, is it two and a half, yeah, is two it? two and a half for a carbon. Wow. Have you ever worn AGV? Oh, in the olden days, yeah, before they got fancy like this. Really? Because it's funny, I've, I've never, last AGV I had was a, Oh, Christ, I think it was a Wayne Rainey replica from 1993. I mean, that was a long, long time ago. Um, They've gone back to these split sizes as well. So you'll have extra small, small, medium. And then you have a, a small, medium. And a, I think it's a large, medium. Then large, extra large, extra, extra large. That's good, though. So, yeah, so in the middle you get extra extra choice. Basically. I mean, I'm pretty sure they'll have a couple of different shell sizes, but most of that will be done by the padding, won't it? Yeah, a lot of it will be, yeah. I'm not sure what the actual uh, shell sizing breakdown is, but, mm -hmm. yeah. but it just gives everyone a bit more option. So there we go. The I think it's I think this is called the Sole Luna or something slightly peculiar like that. I may I may I may be wrong, but that looks kind of sunnish, yeah. perhaps. Um, but there we go. There's the AGV Pista GPR Rossi, nine hundred and ninety-nine pounds. Oh my word! I suppose to all but people with money to burn, you unless you can buy a helmet on <laughs> personal finance, <laughs> um, that is, you know, you've got to really want one or be a crazy Rossi fan. You know, crazy mad Rossi fan. I mean, to um, to to blow a grand on that. But then again, it kind of look. I've got to say. I mean, even one without a Rossi graphic on, because they yeah. do do them without the Rossi graphics, yeah. it looks worth the money. Yeah. And there's, you know, there is so much in this market that when you look at something that is really expensive, there's very few things that are overly expensive that you would say is worth the money. Um, Daytona boots, worth the money, even though they're four or five times more than yeah. most other boots. And this is one of those, this is one of those helmets, I've got to say. Um, I'd quite like to try one now, actually, <laughs> now I'm looking at that. Maybe not with that replica, but maybe one of the other ones they do. But there you go, the Rossi Rep, age one, one of the Rossi Rep AGVs, and uh, yeah, we'll see you next time for what is in the box.